I want to go over something that you may not have heard of. And let me say this, when I make these videos, I am not trying to make people mad. I am not trying to point my finger at anyone because there are things that we all must get better at. There are things that we have to change. So let's go to Matthew 18, 15 through 18. Moreover, if thy brother shall trespass against thee, go and tell him his fault between thee and him alone. So what does this part right here mean? Let's say that you have an issue with me. And let's say that I am making you mad at something or I am really irritating you. What this is saying, confront me about it. Don't go to all of these people first. Come to me. Don't say that Kevin have a really huge issue and stuff like that. No, what you should do is come to me first. Don't spread it. Don't spread things all around the internet or make these exposed videos and stuff like that. No, you come to me and try to settle things with me first. Okay. If he shall hear thee, thou hast gained thy brother. So before you make an issue really big, come step to me first. Don't go to all of these people and say mean things about me or other people. Come to that person you are having an issue with first. Makes sense, right? Okay. Let's go to 16. But if he will not hear thee, then take with thee one or two more. So let's say that you come to me and say, hey, Kevin, what you are doing you are really irritating me or what you are doing you are in sin you should not be having sex before marriage you should not be cursing people out and what you should do is change and from what this is saying if i say to you look i don't care what you are talking about from there what you do verse 16 you go out then take with you one or two more people. Then confront me to get me to change. Okay, that, so, but if he will not hear thee, then take with thee one or two more. That in the mouth of two or three witnesses, every word may be established. So if you confront a person, and if they are not willing to change or do whatever, then after that, then you go out and get one, let me see, you get one or two more people. So overall, at this point, there will be three of you all, or three people coming to that one person or people about a particular issue. Makes sense, right? 17. And if he shall neglect to hear them, tell it unto the whole church, or tell it unto the church. So first, if there is an issue, you go to that person, to that person one-on-one. -on -one. If that person won't change, then you take one or two more people with you. If that person still won't change what this is saying, and if he shall neglect to hear them, tell it unto the church. Then you go to the church and tell people about the issue. You see, there is an order that you must follow. See, what most people do, or what many people do, if they have an issue with a person, they go on the internet and make it really big and make more problems than what they really should. You have to do things in order. 
Stop making these exposed videos. That's evil. If you have an issue with a way a person teaches, confront that person. If that person won't listen to you, bring more people with you. If that person won't listen to you, pray for them. Don't go around and say mean and bad things to a person. That is not right. We can expose wrong teachings, but we must not slander people. It is okay for you to say once saved, always saved is wrong. But it is not okay for you to say once saved, always saved is wrong and these are the people that teach it. And they are going to hell. Don't say that. We don't want to say mean things about people. Even if you may think that they deserve it, don't do it. What good can come out of downing a person? What good can come out by saying mean things about people? What good can come out of that? Nothing. You are doing the devil's work when you are downing people. Even if they are dead wrong, you don't down people. You can correct people in this order here, but you must not slander or down people because if you do, that is a sin. If you are going to expose anyone, expose Satan. Expose demons, expose their wrong teachings, but you don't expose people. Does that make any sense? If they are teaching the wrong things, you talk about the teachings, the wrong teachings, not the people. Because if you are downing people, what makes you different from a sinner? Because don't sinners down people? Don't sinners criticize people? Of course. If someone is doing something wrong, you come up to that person and correct that person. If he won't, if he or she won't hear you, then you bring one or two more. If that person won't hear them, bring more people. If that person won't hear them, then you have to pray for those, for that or those people. But you don't slander people. That is evil. That is wrong. No matter all the evil teachings they do, you don't slander people. Don't say that you are very evil and you are an alcoholic and you are going to hell and burn and all of this unnecessary words. Correct them. Hey, from what the Bible says, what you just said here is wrong. And I can show you where in the Bible where it says it at. And repent of your sins, please. Don't say, you filthy little sinner, you are going to bust hell wide open, you bad man or woman, you. Don't say that. Don't down anyone. Okay. So 17, and if he shall neglect to hear them, tell it unto the church. But if he neglect to hear the church, let him be unto thee as an heathen, a heathen man and a publican, which is a tax collector. And back then, the tax collectors were sinners. They were evil. I don't know if all of them were, but many of them were. Or they were known as being sinners. Okay. So... Let me stop at 17 because 18 is speaking about something else. So from this right here, now you know what to do if someone is in error. 
you correct them, not expose them. Exposing is evil. Correcting is good. You don't have to make a video about a person and exposing them or saying how wrong they are. That is wrong. Think about that. God bless.